Just, just talk about the last, the last shot defensively, and then the last shot on your end to start with. Uh, guarded uh, for our defensive stop. I thought we, you know, you guarded as well as you could for the last, the last one three, and great player made a great shot. Um, and then on the last play, you know, there's I, I still don't really know what all happened. I'm, I'm looking at lots of things. It's frustrating that it comes down to that. But that's there's so many other plays earlier in the game that it, that matter just as much. Uh, you just hate to see a game that good ended that way. But, but, but their kids, not only that last shot, but, you know, Leah Wilson's three when we were up five to get it back to two. Um, there, there's a lot to go back and look at, but you don't, you don't ever just want to see a game like that in that way. Go ahead. Uh, Coach, I, I'll also ask uh, just from the standpoint of not having Ramirez and, and what uh, Mason was able to give, give to you today. Well, you know, we found out right at game time that she wasn't going to be available. So it was a, you know, a quick uh, just changing from a, coming off the bench to start. And I thought Jalen was unbelievable. She's been unbelievable for four years. Uh, uh, and really, she's always had A&M's number. She always played good against A&M. So happy for her. Now that gives us a lot of uh, confidence going into the rest of the season. Uh, we hope Amber will be okay. We'll keep, you know, we've got the best doctors and athletic trainers in the country. So they'll get her right and we'll get her back sooner than uh, as fast as possible. But until then, it's good to know that we've developed some competitive depth and uh, it was really, really important against who, who I think is one of the best teams, not only in our league, but in the country. Hi coach. So your top scorer, Chelsea Dungy ended the game with four fouls. How did that or did it impact the gameplay for your team here? It didn't impact it in the end, but it impacted it in the first half for sure. You know, just limiting her aggressiveness. It didn't limit her minutes because she's learned how to play with them. Uh, we did a really good job of playing offense and defense, but it, it, it had to, it, it makes you less aggressive. Uh, and it, um, it, it had impact, uh, but it was more early in the game than late in the game, I think, Anna. Uh, but I thought she hit some really big shots for us and gave us a chance there at the end. Um, to, to, to be in the game late. Thank you. You're welcome. You feel like your, your team bounced back and, uh, you know, given the fact that, the, that they hurt you inside at Tennessee, you guys do a better job defensively overall tonight. Mike. Yeah. And that, you know, that goes back to that, what we were talking about before the game, their guards aren't quite as long as Tennessee and Kentucky. So we're able to, to execute a little bit more on the perimeter, but uh, you know, we're going to continue to see that, and and I'm glad we're in the SEC. I hate it some nights. <laughs> I will like it in March uh, when we get to play some opponents that might not uh, be that way because it gives us a style of play that we know uh, we can win against. Um, and, and we're seeing little things. It's, you know, like I told the, the media, I'll tell y'all, it's my fault, my fault in not calling the timeout when we were up one and the shot clock was in our favor um that's that's on me uh, I knew we were tired uh it, we didn't appear organized I wanted to I, I talked myself out of it I'll be kicking myself on that one for a long long time Dude, go ahead. Mike you mentioned having competitive more competitive depth now what can you take forward from this going into the next round in this brutal conference just hope that we can continue to carry it from game to game that it doesn't require a ranked team to bring it out in us you know, we, we don't have to look up and see a team ranked in the top 10 or whatever to play that way. We need to play that way on Thursday night. We need to play that way next Monday, the next Monday, the next Thursday, the next Sunday, uh, regardless of, you know, what the ranking is of the people that we're playing. Everybody in our league's good. You know, I don't know how it's going to work out. Obviously, we're not going to play a balanced schedule anyway. There's just going to be some games that don't get made up. But again, I go back to what that group of kids, and they're the only people I give a crap about when it comes to what they think about basketball. Obviously, there's a lot of people I love and give a crap about, but when it comes to basketball, they want to play games and they want to play against the best teams they can play against. So uh, that's why I love being in this league, but it's why I hate it because you don't get rewarded sometimes. And y'all go back and talk to Phil. I, I said before the game, we could play really good and not win this game. And I think we played really good. We just, just didn't have 0. 0.3 seconds more of defense or offense any other time in the game or wherever you want to go back to or whatever, but obviously you get the reference.